hi guys and welcome to simple calculator tutorial to be developed using c++ programming language i'm going to start by clicking on create new and i will select the console application here let's click on go and let's click on next make sure c++ is selected and i'm going to give my project a name i'm going to call it cpp calculator there we go click on next and finish and right there inside the solution folder here double click on the main and that is our development environment now let's start by getting rid of this and I'm just going to declare three variables there so the very first one I'm going to call it number first number second number and finally that will be for that will be an answer then the next variable is going to be a char and that is op the op stands for operator now let's write an output let's say i would like you to output the following you see this c out that's how to output so the following that I want to output is going to be just the title of my project so backslash t backslash t means get it tab that's going to be a console calculator tutorial in C++ so let's just say programming language there we go that's going to be the title now the next thing I want to do is I might as well grab hold of this C out, paste it right underneath here, and I'll just ask my end user to enter enter the first number. There we go. Close that up and end it with semicolon so that is my first now underneath whatever you entered in here is then stored we need c in to take that value in so greater than and greater than and the variable that we store the value that we enter into is, is the first okay so that's the first one taking in the very first value that is entered i'm going to copy this come right down here paste and paste again however this second one here i'm going to use that to obtain the let's say obtain the operator so let's say select an operator Okay, the operator will be as follows. Let's let's go for plus comma minus comma multiplication and that. Select an operator. Okay, so in here my operator variable that's going to be op. Okay, whatever operator that is selected here is stored right inside the op. That's fine. So this is going to be select second number this very ones this is uh, enter enter your second number enter your second number so let's change this to your as well enter your enter your first number okay so all right enter your second number enter your first number that's fine so your second number is going to be this variable it's going to be stored inside this variable here good all taken care of now what we want to do is to use an if statement to determine the option that is made or to determine the operator that is selected so I'm going to come right in here and just right underneath here I'm going to use an if statement if op equals equals 
let's say the plus sign then I want as follows okay I want the answer to be stored inside here so I'm gonna grab all, all of all of these and just paste that in here there we go cut that off equals that so which means whatever is in whatever is inside the C in and C in for the first number C in the second number is then stored add together stored inside the answer now we now want C out to display the final output so we say C out less than less than I'm going to enter new line here less than less than first number and less than less than let's enter a code there that's going to be equals that's going to be plus so I just want this to output my I just want it to output the whole system how it looks like so what will happen is when the user enter whatever value to display whatever value you enter and plus the second value that is entered there we go that's for the second one and I'm now going to enter equals here equals that so equals that I just want to add this together here in here now so instead of that adding those together I'm just gonna grab the answer because it's already added in here so we just say that paste that in here and end that as well then say new line end line there okay so let's arrange this properly that is not shouldn't be there so place that that underneath here okay and here I'm going to enter new line in there okay let's just tidy up before we run the very first one and right here that should be a single quote not a double quote single quote in there and let's see so before we try that out let's change the arrangement of this as well this is just telling the user to select an operator uh, I'm even going to put that in a quote so that it know right select an operator that's fine okay let's try this out click on compile and run all right so that is the very first value i'm just going to enter whatever in there select an operator i'm going to select the plus sign and come right here second value there we go look at that that is good now all we then need to do is i'm going to copy this now and i'm going to use else if else if so this if this is subtraction then we change everything here to subtraction so that takes care of subtraction copy again paste and I'm gonna paste again so if this is multiplication this becomes multiplication and this becomes multiplication as well and this one here that is my division so in the case of division let's use an if statement underneath here we we'll say if second number is not that is how you write not is not zero okay that is how not is written in c plus plus then carry out the following operations All right, the following operations will be taken care of. Else. All 
we need the system to output the following message we just say something like uh, cannot divide by zero something like that okay cannot divide by zero there we go there that is it done okay so this is division and let's change this to division as well and here will be division okay so that is fine now else supposing our end user just choose to do whatever they like so i'm going to come in here let's say else and i want the system to just output the following message for me output so we enter invalid data input there okay that is all there is to it so have a quick look at the lines of codes then uh, we run it and see how that works there so let's click on build and run it's coming up there we go so i'm going to enter my very first let's say we want to divide 45 by 0 so I'm going to enter division there and let's go for 0 there cannot divide by 0 look at that alright let's increase this font size a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm up to so let's make it about 20 there we go all right let's close that and enter the proper data in there we want to divide by 90 and we enter maybe five in there there we go that is fine so let's take care of other operators let's check out something like addition there that's fine and what about multiplication let's say 12 multiply by 12 there we go that is correct and what about subtraction let's subtract that from whatever oh that should be yeah why not let's try that out and see what's gonna happen invalid data input very good so let's try out the subtraction properly subtract that from press enter there we go and that is how you create your own c plus plus programming language calculator so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel. You all have a nice day now. And bye for now.